We're here today at Sri Lanka to train the Special Boat Squadron on fast rope and helicopter rope suspension techniques. Here we go. So the environment in Sri Lanka is a lot hotter than we're used to. Uh, the humidity is extremely high at, at all times, throughout the night, throughout the day. But it's a good experience for us because we don't always get to, to train in a climate like that. And that's something we need to get used to if, if we ever do get in a jungle environment. It's very wet as well, uh, constantly wet, raining all the time. Um, but it's, it's all good experience to know what kind of equipment we need to bring. The main safety equipment being a cowtail that we attach to our riggers belts or our harnesses. It's used to safety into the helicopter while the helicopter is moving. We also have the harnesses, helmets, the welding and fast rope. Gloves can both be used to fast rope down the rope. So some of the concerns I had was that a lot of these guys have never even seen a fast rope, let alone know any of the procedures. A lot of the guys haven't even been in a helicopter before, so we really had to start from scratch. So we went through every procedure we could with them in the brief. So we really hit every single point, all the safety procedures, all the Hearst Master commands, all the SIO commands, everything, to the point where they, uh, we felt that we were comfortable about bringing them onto the tower and going down the rope. But they did a great job because they really paid attention to every single word we said and we didn't have any problems with them throughout the day. This training is extremely important to Sri Lankan uh, Special Boat Squadron, especially for their area of uh, operations because they're on an island so everything is going to be amphibious operations for the most part, especially the mission of the Special Boat Squadron. They're going to be doing a lot of EBSS. When you do EBSS, that includes Hearst operations, especially fast rope. So us getting to be able to train them in fast rope, especially when a lot of them haven't done it before, really open their minds up to a broader spectrum of what they can do in their operations. Us training them gives us an opportunity to really expand our horizons with our allies and um, allows us to also train in different parts of the world where we're not used to, uh, with them being in a, a pretty thick jungle environment and um, an aquatic environment. What I learned about the Sri Lankans, especially the Special Boat Squadron that surprised me was that these guys were highly motivated and well trained. They take it extremely seriously. They pay attention to the to the T. These are a great group of guys and I would love another opportunity to train with them if I could.